Now, before we jump into the course, I want to talk to you a little bit about what you can expect on this 70-463 exam. And the reason I'm talking about this is because of those two words in that title right there, data warehouse. Now this can be an intimidating topic for a lot of people. It's just, you know, you finally got your head wrapped around databases and relational databases and all that. And then data warehousing kind of changes a lot of that, it seems like. So uh, let's talk about what you can really expect on this exam. First of all, I want you to know what this exam focuses on and then the things that you just don't have to worry about yet. Keep in mind, Microsoft has broken data warehousing, as far as their exams are concerned, up into multiple levels. And so this exam is going to focus on designing and implementing a data warehouse. And a strong emphasis here on the designing part. Uh, Microsoft's testing to see if you understand the basic design structures of data warehouses. And you're going to do this mostly with standard uh, SQL Server tools. Now, they'll also expect you to understand a little bit about extracting and transforming data. And we're talking about working with data quality, uh, reaching out there, grabbing data from a source, and then making minor changes to it uh, as it comes through your package and gets loaded into your data warehouse. Then they'll ask you a few questions about loading data. We're going to cover that here. Uh, when we load data, why we load data, how we load data, just all those situations. And this closely kind of dovetails with extracting and transforming data. Then they will ask you a few questions on SSIS. This is SQL Server Integration Services. And this is a family of technologies uh, in SQL Server that basically is where extracting and transforming data lives. And we can do all kind of cool things there. We can set up scripts. We can do various things that, that really give us a lot of control over our data. And so we'll take a look at that stuff. Then there's data quality solutions. Uh, we'll go through that in the course as well. Now, to set your mind at ease, this exam does not focus on data retrieval. You're not going to have to answer questions about uh, multidimensional querying of data from a database. Uh, you're not going to be asked questions about reporting or using the uh, Business Intelligence Studio and Visual Studio. None of that's going to be on there. They're not going to ask you complex data mining questions. You're not going to deal with OLAP cubes. Now, we'll mention OLAP cubes in this course, and we'll go over just a little bit of it so that you can understand what we're really trying to get to with a data warehouse, but you're not going to be tested on that. I'm just going to use it to help you understand what's going on. So as you can see, we're going to focus on the basics here. We're not going to go too deeply into anything. It's the way Microsoft has structured this. And uh, so I just wanted you to know what to expect. So let's go step at a time, get comfortable with this information, and then on the next exam, you'll go just a little bit deeper.